friends, I'm about to serve you some candy cane realness right now. Now, I know it's not the most important issue in the world right now, but I have to openly admit, I get really angry when people treat celebrities like crap. I just need to say it. And there's so many ways we mistreat celebrities, whether it's gossip, bullying, making them do a step and repeat, or you know, the worst, making them do the cha-cha challenge on Dancing with the Stars. But jokes aside, I think the reason it bothers me is because when we have a conversation around celebrities and how we treat them, at the core, it's really a conversation about values. I think we can all agree it is a fact that we treat celebrities different, and oftentimes, that's for their benefit. They get free swag, free drinks, they know what Diddy's white party looks like. One can only imagine but they also have to deal with a ton of crap that we wouldn't do to normal people. Like, let's talk about bullying real quick. The other day, I saw a celebrity post about a hate comment she got, but the hate comment was from a mother. And that got me thinking, because I feel like parents generally like to set a good example for their kids, but for some reason, they throw that rule out the window when it has to do with a celebrity. And I'm trying to understand this, because it's like, okay, does that mean that it's okay to bully a celebrity? And, and why is that? Is it because they're rich and famous? Okay, so how rich does someone have to be before it's okay to make fun of them? And I think the conversation gets even more interesting when we talk about privacy, because that's where celebrities have it really bad. I mean, for the most part, people are cracking down on social media, being like, you can't sell my data, I need my privacy, but the exception is celebrities. Why does our moral compass have to have an asterisk? That's not how compasses work. North should not be different for Northwest. And oftentimes when I say this, the argument back is, well, that's what celebrities signed up for, and I don't think that's a fair argument to make. Because really, they signed up to be an actor, or singer, or really hot person. Just because they got successful, it doesn't mean that they deserve horrible treatment for having a talent. I'm gonna be vulnerable with you and share this experience of mine, but you know, before, in my last house, I had a lot of issues with people coming to my house, and it wasn't always safe, and it was scary. And so, when I moved, I made it a point to make sure my privacy was intact. I was very cautious to not post pictures in a certain way or reveal the city I lived in, etc., etc., to feel safe. And then what happened? Some outlet and reporter posted an article about my move with all of these pictures, and I was terrified. I even requested for them to take it down, and my only reason was, I want to be safe. And the response I got was, well, it's freedom of speech. Now, I was 22 years old when I decided to post some silly videos on YouTube. I didn't know I would be signing up to feel like a fugitive in my own house. The reality is that no one signed up for it. It's just the culture we've created and the expectation that we've set, saying, yeah, I I guess this is okay. I mean, just stop and think how we don't even blink an eye when a celebrity's nudes get leaked anymore. We've normalized that behavior. I mean, Jennifer Lawrence didn't sign up to have her privacy invaded. In fact, she didn't even sign up for social media. And I know what some people might be thinking, Lily, stop being so sensitive. Why are you defending celebrities? They can go cry into their piles of money. Yet, since we were little kids, we've been taught over and over again that money cannot buy you happiness. I mean, all these stories from King Midas to The Great Gatsby to Eat, Pray, Love, all these stories we eat up have all taught us that money doesn't guarantee a happy life. We know this. Health and wellness cannot be bought, no matter what that spa flyer says. And it's this culture that has driven so many stars to the breaking point. The stars like Britney Spears, Lindsay Lohan, Princess Diana. Here, spoiler alert, stars are people. But I'm happy that right now more stars are coming forward to fight this abuse. Emily Ratajkowski wrote a great piece about how she had to buy back pictures of herself from paparazzi. Meghan Markle just won a lawsuit against a UK tabloid for invading her privacy. You know, Meghan said something here that really pulled my heartstring, and I want to share it here. She said, for these outlets, it's a game. For me and so many others, it's real life, real relationships, and very real sadness. I feel that. So next time you have the urge to tweet something mean to a celebrity, or look at their baby's leaked photos, or their nude photos, just think about, would you do that if that celebrity was your friend? Because remember, every celebrity is a real person, even if their lip filler isn't. Hey, thanks so much for watching this clip. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you subscribe to this channel for more just like it. If you don't, none of us can leave set.